Hi, I'm Jonas and this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to make your own creative looks for your videos. This method is very fast, very powerful and quite a lot of fun. This video is a part of a free mini course on color correcting and color grading. It's mainly for the Panasonic users, but if you're a Sony user, well then there's a bit of luck for you as well. And with this video, I hope you will be saving a lot of money because now you don't have to buy those creative lookup table packs uh, for that are sold on online from ranging from uh, 10 US dollars to 200 US dollars. So you can create them yourself. Okay, let's start with the tutorial. So um, there's three things to consider when we are creating a lookup table. The first thing is that grading is a, like a metaphorically, it's a house built on a foundation. And the foundation being lighting in your videos, how you expose your videos and how you color correct your videos. Those three things you have to nail before you can uh, build a house on top of it, before you can start doing your grading. If the foundation is crooked, your house will be not good. And uh, if, you, if you don't know how to do that, well then you should go and see the free mini course because I'll teach you how to do those things. Uh, the second thing to consider when creating looks is to aim for very smooth modifications because we want these looks at least if you're going to create them into lookup tables, uh, we want these lookup tables to work on a wide range of footage. And then the third thing to consider is um, avoiding a very common beginner mistake, which is messing up your black point and white point. Uh, I'll explain it later. So let's just start with the tutorial. I'm going to do this tutorial in Premiere, but if you use your brain, you can just understand the concepts and you can easily do the same things in uh, Resolve or whatever software you're using. Okay, let's go to Premiere. In Final Cut, you don't have adjustment layers, but in, adju in Final Cut, you can use just another copy of the same uh, footage on top of itself, and it will be basically the same thing as an adjustment layer. Okay, so adjustment layer. Uh, so the uh, backbone of the method is to use curves on adjustment layer with the overlay blending mode. And this overlay blending mode is very important because this will protect the highlights and the black point from uh, our mistakes. And it's basically it's, just, it's kind of limiting what we do, but it will again give us a lot of power on what we do. And straight out of the gate, you can see that this gave a lot of contrast to the footage. The easy thing to uh, remove a, a bit of it is to lift the a black point and bring the white point down. And then we can add uh, new uh, points of the curve to fine fine tune the contrast as just as we want, and now we have a quite nice contrast to the footage. Then let's create a kind of like a moody um, summer vibe feeling to the footage, and to do that, let's uh, make the highlights very warm and the shadows just a bit cold. To do that, let's bring the blues down, the blue point blue point down, and let's bring it. Uh, let's make an inverse S. Something like this, and maybe let's give the highlights just a bit of uh, um, magenta, and then mm, let's give the shadows just a bit of green as well. And now let's emphasize the warmth by applying a bit of red to the highlights and taking it away a bit from the shadows. And there we have it. In a couple of seconds, we have a very nice uh, shimmer vibe uh, feeling to the footage. Then let's create a new look and here we have the same footage uh, and a fresh fresh new footage without grading and let's duplicate the adjustment layer, put it on top of itself, let's uh, reset it and let's use the same uh, um, curves on overlay mode uh, effect for this one because this is the backbone of this method. So let's create uh, the opposite, let's uh, create like a winter feeling, like a winter vibes look and let's see if we have winter vibe we should have less uh, uh, contrast and the image should be quite um, like uh, wide, uh, like bright. Because if there's a lot of snow, there should be a lot of uh, light as well. And then because it's winter, it should be really cold. So let's bring the blues up and maybe bring the uh, reds down a bit. And maybe the greens up just a bit. Okay, that's our base. And then to give it an even more of a wintry feel, I'm gonna duplicate the adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm gonna uh, remove the curves effect. And I'm gonna use another blending mode 
I'm going to use a blending mode called uh, where is it? Multiply. Uh, and you can see it makes it very dark, but let's fix that. Go to FX and let's give this uh, adjustment layer a very bluish uh, treatment. So let's go to the effects and here. Uh, the tint effect will uh, map all the colors. Like if I put it to normal mode, you can see what is happening. It's making the uh, shadows black and the highlights white. So let's put the shadows into, let's say, this color blue. And let's then take the highlights and let's put them to this color blue. So only how, now we have kind of like uh, shadows are this blue and highlights are this blue. And then let's put it to multiply mode. And you can see that it will, will make the footage really dark, but then we can just lower the opacity to, let's say, 30. Something like that. And now we have a really wintry look. And if you now want to give a bit of uh, life back to the uh, skin tones, we can go to the original footage and use the Lumetri panel and Lumetri effect and use the Ace as little secondaries. Now let's just uh, select the skin. Let's click here so that we can see what's do what we're doing and then use this tool to kind of uh, paint on top of the uh, skin tones to get all of the skin tones selected. Something like that, that's good. And I already have some denoise and some blur on the footage. This will um, aid uh, so that it, your footage doesn't break because it kind of makes this blur uh, where the edge is. So the edge is not visible because there's a bit of blur. And then let's turn this off and let's just give it a bit of warmth so it looks normal. Because this is important to remember that there's this skin tone, for example, is a, um, something that the human eye can really intuitively know what it should look. But now it looks a bit too yellow, so let's push away from the yellow, maybe towards a bit uh, red, maybe too much. Okay, this is something you can tweak forever. Okay, that's quite good. Let's make it a bit darker, give it more depth. Something like that. Okay, now we have our winter, winter vibe. So this is our winter vibe and this is our summer vibe. Okay, then let's create an one more. Let's call it... Um, Let's call it uh, old wipe. So let's make a, like a footage that would look like it would be an old film. So let's uh, duplicate that layer and let's go to the effects and reset the curves. No, not the opacity, the curves. And let's see if it's an old video. I would say that there's a, it's quite bright, but there's a harsh uh, drop when it comes to shadows. So let's, let's, let, let's keep the shadows very dark, but let's give it a kind of this kind of a shape. So it's really bright, the footage is really bright. Something like this, and maybe bring the white just a bit down. Okay, I would say that this looks kind of like, that would be the dynamic range of an old video. And then let's give the video a bit of a warmth, because I don't know, old videos, if they're uh, old film, it has degraded a bit, so it becomes, uh, the footage becomes really warmish. And then to remove all the others, because um, I, I want to aim for it's like a sepia look. Uh, so let's remove um, these other colors, like the blue, this blue uh, there, the red here. And to do that, I'm going to use again an adjustment layer. And you can use the footage as by itself you don't, if you don't have adjustment layers. And let's remove the curves and let's put it into hue, like this. And then let's go to the effects and let's go and look for an effect called tint. And just a second, I will show you again. Oh, well, you already know because we use this tint effect. So let's go effect control. But this time we have it on hue. <clears throat> and this blending mode will just affect the hue of your, um, of your colors. So then let's turn the tint off and let's choose uh, for the black. Let's choose a dark skin tone. Some like skin tone that is dark. I don't know why it's... Uh, for some reason it's not picking the uh, darkness correct, but let's choose this and let's manually make it darker. Something like that. So now we have the darks, uh, the blacks are now dark skin tone. And then let's choose a wide, um, sorry, where is it? There, let's choose uh, highlights, uh, the whites to be kind of like the uh, w uh, high, white skin tone, something like that. Okay, and now we turn it on. You can see that it had a minimal effect on the skin tones, though it removed the greeny skin, but had a rather minimal effect on the skin tone. But everything else in the image, for example, the blue attire or these uh, red um, arrows turned into skin tone. 
skin tone of hue. And let's have let's not have it as strong. So let's bring it down to let's say 50, maybe 40. And yeah, I think that's good. So now we can go to the uh, previous adjustment layer and maybe let's, let's make it just a bit uh, darker. Something like this. Okay, and now we have created three different looks. Here's our old vibe, here's our winter vibe, and here's our summer vibe. I guess the summer vibe could do some uh, retweaking again, but maybe it's just because of the footage was quite dark. Let's try the same lookup tables on um, a different footage. So here we have a very summery look. Uh, this guy on a, well, this is actually, this was summertime. This is Chiang Mai and it was really hot. Uh, in December when we were there. So let's apply the look uh, adjustment layer on top of it and you can really see that it really makes the footage well really summary as I Im uh, imagine it to, to do so. And then let's try the winter look. Let's put these layers on top of the footage here like this and yes it made it very wintry. And this is the magic of using um, very smooth adjustments, for example, the uh, overlay uh, technique, because it will uh, protect the footage from uh, too much, um, like too specific modifications. And then let's check out our old, old wipe, our old wipe. And this is our old wipe. And I guess at this time, I think the effect of this one is a bit too high. I wonder why it's, huh. I guess I just reset it. Let's bring it down. For some reason, it jumped to 100. Let's bring it to 50, something like this. Yeah, here's our old vibe, old vibe. And let's, I think in this case, I, the footage should be too bright, so let's... And this is something that you cannot do with other lookup tables, because with the lookup tables, everything is baked in, but with these settings, you can easily go into the your inside kind of like settings of your own look and just tweak it uh, to your hard content. For example, I think the, uh, the shadows are a bit too uh, red so let's remove a bit of red from the from there okay so here are here's again our three looks the old vibes the winter vibes and our summer vibes yeah looks good okay so now you know how to make looks by yourself and if you want to know more there's the link in the below the video where you can find the uh, free mini course on color correcting and color grading and um, if you want to, for example, if you want to know how to make these looks into lookup uh, look files and maybe sell them somewhere, then uh, there's a video on the mini course as well for that. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, join the mini course and see you in the next video.